All right, boys and girls, today we're going to be reading a very fun story about insects. And then after we read the story, we're going to do a little activity where we pretend to be the insects and then guess which one it is based off of the insects in our story. So in the story that we're going to be reading in just a second, we're going to follow our caterpillar on a little journey to become a butterfly. And on this journey, our caterpillar is going to meet all different types of bugs. Some of our bugs are insects and some of them are not. So we're gonna try to see if we can see which ones are insects. And we can do this by counting their legs. We can see that they all have little legs. So we're gonna count their legs to see how many legs they have. And if they have six legs, that means that they're an insect because all insects have six legs. The Backyard Bug by Lauren Davidson. I'm coming out to meet the world from my safe and cozy pearl. A tiny hungry caterpillar. I'll give this leaf a whirl. So here we have a better picture of a caterpillar. When they're born, they're super, super tiny and then they grow to get a little bit bigger. But they're not done growing yet when they're caterpillars. So here we have our picture of a caterpillar. And it looks like the caterpillar has many different legs, but he actually only has six legs. These back here are fake legs, just so they can balance and everything. These are his legs up here. So we have one, two, three on this side, and then three on the other side. I munch and munch and eat all day and wonder what to do. I ask a spotted ladybug, will I grow to look like you? So that was a picture of a ladybug, and here we have another ladybug. And we could see how many legs he has. So he has one, two, three on one side. So then he's gonna have three on the other. So he's gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six legs. I see a giant grasshopper. He's jumping very high. I hope to hop like him one day and maybe touch the sky. So that's a picture of a grasshopper. And here we have another grasshopper. And we could see how many legs he has to see if he's an insect. So we have one, two, three legs on one side, which means that he has three on the other. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six legs on our grasshopper. Wow, that bug is beautiful. So colorful and bright. Could I ever have such pretty wings? Perhaps one day I might. So that's a picture of a jewel beetle. And here we have another picture of a jewel beetle. And um, he's very colorful. And we can see how many legs he has. So we have one, two, three on the one side, which means that he has three on the back. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six legs on our jewel beetle. There's a cricket in the bushes making noise by rubbing wings. I wonder who he's singing to with all the joy he brings. So we just saw a picture of a cricket and here's another picture of a cricket and we can see how many legs he has. So we can see all of his legs. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six legs. Our cricket has six legs, which means that he is also an insect. What is all that buzzing so high up in the trees? They're making a big hive up there. That's a home for bees. So that was a picture of some bees, but here we have one bee and we can count how many legs he has. So we have, these are his little antennas. So those are not legs. And we have one, two, three legs on one side, which means that there's three on the other. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six legs on our bee. So our bees are also insects. Look at all those tiny ants, so little yet so tough. Maybe I'll be strong like them one day when I'm grown up. Next we have a picture of an ant. So here's our ant and we can see all of his legs. So we can count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six legs on our ants because this one's on his head. So those are his little antennas. So we have six legs on our ants. That sticky web that spider spins is dangerous, I know. 
I have a hunch I'll be her lunch if I don't turn and go. So now we just saw a picture of a spider and I have a picture of a spider here so we can count its legs. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our spiders have eight legs, which means that they are not insects because insects have six legs and our spider has eight. Hey, did that brown stick just move? Can it really be? Oh, it's not a stick at all. That sneaky bug just tricked me. So now we have our stick insect and he really does look like a stick. He's blending in right there. So we can count his legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Our stick insect also has six legs, so that means he's also an insect. Oops, I scared a roly-poly. It's hiding and so small, with head and body nice and snug and rolled up in a ball. So next we have a roly-poly and we're gonna count his legs as well. So we can see that there, this is one roly-poly and he's rolling here. This is just to show you. And we can see how many legs he has here. I don't think that we can count them. There's so many legs there, but it's definitely above six. So our roly-poly has more than six legs, which means that he's not an insect. That lovely insect darts and glides way up in the air. I wish one day to fly as high without a single care. So next we have a dragonfly, and here's the picture so we can see its legs. They're really tiny. We have one, two, three, four, five, six! Our dragonflies also have six legs, which means that they are insects. Floating and glowing in the early night sky are special beetles called fireflies. I wonder as I grow and grow if one day I will brightly glow. So next we have a firefly, and some people call these lightning bugs or other different type of things, but this is what he looks like, and we can count his legs. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six legs on our firefly, which means that he is also an insect. I'm so big, it's time to sleep right here on this tree. I'll make a home, cozy up alone, and dream of what I'll be. One, two, three, this is me. So now we see that our caterpillar turns into a butterfly. And we're gonna see how many legs our butterfly has. So we can count one, two, three, four, five, six. Our butterflies also have six legs, which means that they are also an insect. So now that we're done reading our story, now we know all of our insects have six legs. So let's see which insects those are. We have butterflies, fireflies, ants, bees, stick insects, crickets, jewel beetles, ladybugs, dragonflies, grasshoppers, and caterpillars. All of those are insects because they have six legs. And then the two that did not have six legs are spiders and roly-polies. So they're not insects because they have more than six legs. So now I'm gonna put all of our insects into a box and we're gonna mix them around and I'm gonna pick a couple of them and act them out. And we're gonna see if you guys can get Guess which insect I am. Okay, so I have all of my pictures in the box. We're gonna mix them up a little bit. My shake, and we're gonna pick one. And I'm gonna see what it is, and then you guys are gonna guess which animal I'm acting out, okay? So while I'm acting these out on the screen, you guys can also participate and also act them out with me. All right, so I'm gonna act out my first insect. Are you ready? All right. So which one of these three insects was I acting out?
If you said a bee, you're right, I was pretending to be a bee. So now I'm gonna pick another one. Okay, now I'm gonna act out my second insect. Are you ready? So which insect was I acting out? If you said a grasshopper, you're right. I was pretending to be a grasshopper. We're gonna pick one more. All right, now I'm gonna act out my third insect. All right, are you ready to guess? Okay, which insect am I acting out this time? If you said a caterpillar, you're right! I was pretending to be a caterpillar! Alright boys and girls, so now that we're done reading our story and doing our activity today, we can remember that insects have six legs. So anything more than six legs and less than six legs is not an insect. Only if they have six legs.